90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 7 was filled with drama and chaos, however, there were several genuinely sad moments involving the cast. Happily Ever After Season 7 featured couples from the various 90 Day Fiancé spin-offs, including 90 Day Fiancé, Before the 90 Days, 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way, and 90 Day, The Single Life. Several couples, such as Kim Menzies and Usman Sojaboy Umar, Ed Big Ed Brown and Liz Woods, and Angela Dean and Michael Alassani, faced challenges in their relationships and questioned if love was really in the cards for them. Elizabeth Libby Pothest and Andre Kastravitz struggled to make amends with her family after finding out that Andre might be deported, as he believed one of Libby's family members may have called immigration on him. Yara Zaya and Jovi Dufran also faced difficulties when Jovi decided to leave Yara and their daughter Myla in Europe so that he could return to the U. S. to work, Shaida Sween and Bilal Hazis continued to disagree on when to have a child, while Jenny Sladen and Sumit Singh struggled to adjust to married life with the looming disapproval of Sumit's family. While each of the couples had some sad moments, some were more heartbreaking to watch than others. Kim Menzi Usman Umar's breakup One of the most heart-wrenching moments of Happily Ever After Season 7 was one of the final scenes when Kim and Usman decided to end their relationship and recent engagement. Kim traveled to Nigeria for a second time with her son Jamal Menzies so that he could meet Usman, but the trip, unfortunately, ended in heartbreak. While it was evident that Usman was not that upset, it was clear that Kim was, which made the scene even more difficult to watch. While Kim may not be a fan favorite among 90 Day Fiancé fans, they did feel sympathy for her during the breakup. Jovi Dufrin leaving Yara Zaya his daughter Myla in Europe Another difficult moment to watch was Jovi being forced to leave Yara and Myla in Prague for the U.S. during a tearful goodbye. Jovi and Yara traveled to visit Yara's mother in Prague after the invasion of Ukraine, and Yara quickly realized how much she had missed Europe. Yara told Jovi that she was not sure if he wanted to leave Europe, which clearly upset him. However, Jovi ultimately told Yara that he supported whatever decision she wanted to make, and she decided to stay in Europe for a bit longer with Myla. While Jovi was upset saying goodbye to Yara, it was especially sad watching him say goodbye to Myla, not knowing when he would see her again. Chuck Pothest's emotional breakdown Another sad moment from 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Season 7 was the heart-to-heart -heart between Chuck and Libby. He expressed how important it was to him to have his family reconciled. Chuck opened up about his cancer diagnosis five years ago and revealed that he almost died on the operating table during surgery. Chuck admitted to Libby that he did not believe his life was spared so that he could watch his family argue and that he wanted everyone to attend therapy together to work things out. While fans do not care for Libby's siblings, they feel bad for Chuck and believe he has genuine intentions.